All right, so we're currently at Drexler's first stop of the day. I'm excited to get in here. Let's go ahead and get into it. Located at 712 Southwest 11th Avenue in downtown Portland, Oregon, Drexler's is a store that has a bunch of different cool items when it comes to older and newer releases, a bunch of different varieties on sizes and branding, and a lot of opportunities to get different collectibles, clothing, and player exclusive sneakers on the highlighted wall in the back as well. This is a store that's going to be loaded with a lot of different things, so when you come in, take your time, enjoy the process of looking at the store because trust me, they have a lot to offer. and you you can easily miss things if you're just skimming through the walls going through very fast so take your time look up look down look all around so i had a chance to chop it up with the owner for a couple minutes and he was telling me how he loves seeing so many new customers coming in especially newer and older sneakerheads, and how there's a big variety and audience that likes to come to the store so i think this is a store that's really great for all different types of sneakerheads. whether you may be looking for the latest greatest thing or you're ready to go back deep into the archive and look at something that came out years ago or grab something a little bit bit more rare and exclusive so it's cool to see that and another thing that i love about the store as well they get cool samples especially when it comes to sbs they show me a couple things right here as you can see these are the first prototype samples of the freddy cougar dunks and different versions of them so this is like next next level stuff right here and this is one dope thing about living in portland oregon so drexler's is always a cool shop to stop by so if you're ever in town make sure you go check them out now i got my shoes let's go ahead and take it to the next shop So now we're at stop number two. This place is called Palette. So let's go see what's up inside. They just opened up and I've never been here before. So I'm excited to check it out. Let's go. How you doing? All right. Portland, located at 855 Southwest Yamhill Street in downtown Portland, literally just a couple blocks away from Drexler's. You got Pallet Portland. This is a new shop that recently opened up over the past few months, and it was dope to stop by and check them out and see what they had to offer. And this one has a lot more when it comes to clothing. And then obviously, as you can see on the other wall, a bunch of skateboards. They got the coffee machines and they're making coffee and doing stuff like that. They got the dog in the shop holding the place down. They got different accessories like Supreme and other cool things like that. So when it comes to this shoe store in particular, you're gonna be able to find a lot of cool used items, especially for a really good deal. We saw some good prices on some stuff i was looking for some shoes and i didn't really see too much initially but one thing that had caught my eye was the saint patrick's day dunks i really wanted to add these to my collection they didn't have my size so i went to see if they had them for my wife these are fire thank you to whatever i like these well, only have a five. if they had those in my size all day we have these in five and four and a half yeah those are hard so unfortunately they didn't have the shoe in her size but i ended up finding a couple things and i'm excited to show you guys what i got when i get home this store is a really good store if you're coming to look at clothing items and get good deals especially on used sneakers at a good price because i think that is something that a lot of sneakerheads really love to do is find good deals on kicks that they already know they're gonna wear so it always makes sense to be able to find a good spot like that so so i definitely like the shop i like the presentation i feel like they have a really good size store as well and i think there's a lot of cool options for somebody to come in and enjoy browsing through and maybe even potentially finding something they want to buy so as you can see right here i found a couple things i can't show you guys until i get back to the house but i got a skateboard deck and some kicks so i'm excited to show you guys when we get back home so what's a little bit of portland sneaker shopping video without some rain this is classic to our city it's june right now so we're currently at Deadstock. This is a coffee shop inspired by sneakers. So I don't really drink coffee, but I gotta show you guys this spot because it's just a dope place. Come on, let's go. Located at 408 
408 Northwest Cool Street in downtown Chinatown. We got Dead Stock Coffee. This is a sneaker inspired coffee shop and one of the first to ever come to our cities. And honestly, maybe the first to ever do it in the world. As you can see throughout the shop, they have a bunch of different sneaker inspired things when it comes to art, the clothing, and all the sneakers on the back end on the wall. It's super dope to see something like this, especially in such a heavily sneaker related city. And to know that we have a sneaker coffee shop is really dope because you got some people that just like coffee and they wanna stop by and they wanna grab a cup of coffee, but then they get to experience and learn a couple things along the way when it comes to the knowledge and history behind sneakers as well and how they inspire different things in life especially saying that we have mocha air jordan 3s or mocha air jordan 1s or you name it there's a bunch of cool sneakers that are low-key kind of you know what i'm saying coffee related so i think that stop coffee is a super dope spot to be at and i'm always excited to stop in see the crew and say what's up to everybody so if you're ever in town and you're looking for some good vibes definitely stop by dead stock coffee all right so i don't drink coffee but we got some tea so uh let's take it to the next store all right so we're at the next sneaker shop and this one right here is one of the ogs for our city this place is called index and i'm excited to go inside because they always got some bangers and they always got some samples and pe's i'm excited to see what we got let's get it Just a couple blocks away from Deadstock Coffee, located at 114 Northwest 3rd Avenue in the same Old Town Chinatown area. You got Index PDX, and I'm telling you right now, they have a bunch of heat. If you look at the heat wall right here in the glass case, you can see there are going to be a bunch of samples, PEs, and a bunch of other cool sneakers along those lines. Very, very high ticket items. But there's also some cool stuff on the main walls as well. When it comes to your everyday sneakers, whether you may be looking for something that's lightly used or something that's dead stock or something that recently came out, but I think they definitely specialize in grabbing those older gems. And when it comes to, you know, maybe a sneaker that may have come out a couple years ago or something maybe even came out 15 or 20 years ago, you might still be able to find that on their shelf. So if you're looking for something to really power pack your collection and really take your collection to the next level when it comes to nostalgia, especially, this is gonna be a shop that you can go to and find something really good inside of there. And one thing for my size 13 gang, one of the owners is a size 13, so you know what that means. They're always gonna have some kicks available in our size, so you guys know the struggle. It's always rough sometimes, but if you ever come to Index, you can guarantee you find something in your size that you low-key just might wanna add to your collection. Index has been around for almost 10 years now, and they have definitely made a stamp in the game when it comes to the OG consignment shops in our city, and I think it's one place that you always have to check out no matter what if you're coming to the town. So I love the shop. I've been shopping with them for a very long time, and you know I found me some kicks. I'm excited because I actually found a couple pairs of shoes, but I'll show you guys when we get to the house. Let's take it to the next store. All right, y'all, we got some more kicks. Now we got to go to the next store. Man, the truck is starting to pile up. I'm ready. Let's go. All right, so we're on to the next stop right here. We had to take a little bit of a drive. We're out here at Washington Square Mall, and inside the mall, they have a sneaker shop called Hearth. They just opened up this year, so let's go check it out. This one's a little bit farther and closer to the Beaverton area, located at 9610 Southwest Washington Square Mall. We got Hearth, and I'm telling you right now, this is a new shop that's coming on the scene that is making a stamp in the game, and I'm excited to see it. I always love seeing new shops coming around and seeing them making a big stamp, especially inside the mall. Having a very clean shop, nice aesthetically looking, and definitely having a nice selection when it comes to the latest and greatest drops. They got some more Eric Emanuel stuff over here. They got some Supreme, some more Essentials. Bro, we was rocking the Essential shorts. Should I grab another pair? I don't know. This is like the same color as last time. Oh, they got sweatpants too. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Should we, should we get the sweats? Oh no. All right, so on this wall, they got a bunch of different shoes. As you can see, it says the men's section over here. They got different dunks. They got forces. A lot of the Nike stuff, they got some Jordans, 7s, 14s, 13s, 12s, more forces. These are hard. I didn't get these when they came out. I really like these. They got the Supreme forces. A bunch of different options right here. Undefeated, Air Maxes, Kobe's, Mama Sipas. They got more J's down here. It looks like they got a little used section as well, which is cool. So if you're looking for a used deal, that's nice. I like that. Got some off-white. Let's go over to the other wall real quick and see what they got over here. I know you like these, but they don't have your size. Oh, they might have these in your size. Nah, they don't have these in your size either. Bum, bum, ba -dum. <laughs> Part of SVs. Okay, so over here they got a bunch of different Jordan ones. They got the Yeezys, the slides. They got the Union Twos right here. Clean shoe. They got some kicks up in here, bro. I don't know. I might be able to find something. We got some threes, some Air Maxes, New Balance. What y'all think about the New Balances? This colorway is low key kind of far. Yeah, this spot is cool. This is cool. These right here. What do y'all think about these? I was low key thinking about picking these up. They don't got these in my size, but I'm thinking about adding those to the collection. They got more pairs right here. These are hard. These are hard. You see anything? So cute. Those are hard. Those are hard. We gotta find her those. Hey, everybody in the comment section, help us find this pair for her. What size you need? Uh, Is it a men's size? I think it's men's sizing. So that would be a what? Five and a half in men's? You need? Um, yeah, I need a. Or five and seven in women's, seven. something like that. Okay. Yep, we'll try to find you a pair. So as you can see right there, unfortunately, they didn't have the St. Patrick's Days in my wife's size yet again, but it's okay because you know how it goes. Sometimes you just can't find it in your size and eventually you do, but it's all right. But at the end of the day, it's cool because you know what? I found some shoes and <laughs> I found some shoes for y'all that I'm gonna be giving to one of you guys. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out what that shoe may be because I'm gonna be giving something away from what we got today. All right, y'all, we're looking good. We got one more store left to finish off the day. Been copping a lot of kicks, bro. I'm excited. Hey, hey, guess what? I got something for y'all too. Let's go. All right, you guys, we're at the final spot. Back to the basket. Let's go ahead and go inside. I know they got some cool vintage stuff. I'm excited. Let's go. at 3405 Southeast Hawthorne Boulevard. We got back to the basket and oh my gosh, this is the best place to be, especially if you just love the vibe of like the vintage, the thrift, and especially the whole just Portland having like literally so many memorabilia things from bobbleheads to basketballs to autograph posters to jerseys to shirts to you name it jackets you can find so many cool things in this store not only just sneakers but a lot of other things to rock with gear or decking out your you know ultimate sneaker room or your office space or something like that this store is another store that is packed with so many things that you just have to take your time walking through the store and enjoy everything that's going on literally from sneakers hanging from the ceiling to stuff on the walls literally everything is for sale too so that's the thing like there's so many things in there it's like a wonderland you know what i'm saying it's a great place to be so definitely stop by this shop and guess what i don't know if you can see right here but uh <laughs> i think we just might have found a pair for wifey damn what do you think is there any way she could try one on yeah of course yeah. you want to try this this is the one we were trying to get for you at the other store what do you think about these huh yeah you like these yeah yeah i do you like these yeah I like yeah you seen them in person yet? Yeah, we were just looking at the other store trying to find her uh, her size, and they didn't have them. They was like too big or something uh, like that. Oh, really? But yeah. yeah, let's I see. Like, I mean, on the SBs, like they really put the good quality on it. Yeah. You know what I'm every other dunk. Let's see if they, you want to try that one on, try that foot on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yo. Yo. Those are hard. Those are hard. 
<laughs> so as you can see, we're able to get some kicks for wifey and I ended up finding a jersey. There wasn't anything particularly in my size that I wanted to get that I didn't already have, but that's okay because I'm happy we were able to get some kicks for wifey. Thank her for helping out so much and holding the camera because you know what I'm saying? None of this would be possible without her. I'd be struggling sometimes trying to hold the camera by myself. So shout out to Back to the Basket, another great store to stop by. And man, I'm excited to get home and show you everything that we got. Let's get it. All right, you guys, we are back in the studio and we have all the shoes unloaded from the car and it is time to go through everything that we got and I'm gonna be showing you guys what shoe I'm gonna be giving to one of you guys as well. All right, so starting with shop number one, I got a couple things from Drexler's. This is a hat that they actually have and it has their name on it with the D. And then I got a T as well, the Drexler's Louis Vuitton T. As you can see, this is an Air Jordan 5 or Jordan 6 box up for you to decide. We shall see in a second. But I had to get these back in the collection. This is an Air Jordan 5 Fire Red with the black tongue. Now, I wasn't a huge fan of this retro and I ended up getting rid of it. I would love to see them retro these with the Nike Air on the back. That would be extremely dope. But for now, I'm gonna add these back to the collection and call myself a happy camper. As you can see, it's an Air Jordan 4 box. And, oh man, this is a great shoe right here. Uh, the quality, the materials, everything is really, really nice when it comes to this one. We got the black military Air Jordan 4s right here. Definitely a clean shoe, something that you should always consider doubling or tripling up on. I got a feeling down the line, I'm gonna want this shoe and I'm gonna be like, man, I should have got an extra one. And then next thing you know, the price is extremely high and I regretted it. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get another one for the collection. So for these two sneakers right here, my total came out to be $642. Now let's take it to the next store and see what I got. So starting off first right here, we got a t-shirt for the wifey. She wanted this, it said Astral Angel. So I ended up grabbing this for her. And then I saw a skate deck that I was very interested in. Cause you know, I low key been trying to upgrade my skate deck collection. So here right here as you can see it's a supreme deck and as you can see on the back end right here super dope details they got the apes on the back end or the monkeys whatever you want to call them i don't know the exact name of this skate deck all i know is it looked pretty dope and i thought it would be cool to add it to my wall so i picked it up now when it comes to the sneakers right here i'm pretty sure a lot of you know when you see this box right here this right here is a travis scott air force one shout out to pilot for this one because Definitely having a shoe. That's why I tell people too, if you wanna buy a shoe that may be a little bit more expensive, find a used version. It can save a couple bucks and you're already gonna wear the shoe anyway. So you know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is spray it down, disinfect it. Next thing you know, you're rocking a dope kick. So with the shoes, the skateboard and the t-shirt, my grand total ended up coming to 600 bucks. Now let's take it to the next store. Let's go with the first one right here. You have an Air Jordan 13 box. Can you guess what's inside? I don't know if you guys are gonna guess this one. It's actually a little bit older. I think it was 2017, something like that. We got the Cherry 13. Oh, we got the shoe. This is a very clean pair right here, and I got rid of my dead stock pair because I was just like, you know what? They're not like the OGs. Let me get rid of them. And then the price started to go up, and I was like, damn, I should have kept them. And now I got a chance to get a used pair, and I was like, you know what? Oh, well, I plan on rocking them anyways because I do need these for the rotation. You know, I got to switch it up. I know everybody loves running Jordan 1s and Jordan 4s and stuff like that, but I want to give you guys a different twist when it comes to the outfits and what rocking different kicks because I feel like 13s get love, but they don't get enough love in my opinion so hopefully we can bring a little bit more love to the shoe now when it comes to this next shoe right here we have the great air jordan 5 right here this is a used pair as well and i got them for a good deal so i knew i had to immediately pick them up when i saw them in my size just because i got rid of my 2006 pair and i didn't really like the retro because of the materials but again this is what we got to deal with so at the end of the day i had to pick these up i would like to get the fresh pins of bel-air ones and i might have to poke the holes through it and do all that stuff because it got the nike air on the back i'm still contemplating that whole shoe just because the price is a little bit higher i don't know if i want to pay that price for that sneaker so in the meantime we're gonna add the grape fives back to the collection i haven't had these for about maybe three or four years now and uh definitely been missing them so my grand total for these two sneakers had index ended up being 470 bucks and honestly again i'm a happy camper next up we got hearth at washington square mall i'm gonna open up this one after this one just because this one's for me this one's for you guys i'll make sure you guys wait for just a split more second but basically with this shoe right here i ended up thinking i was gonna have a pair coming but then I didn't get them and I was kind of disappointed because my plug didn't come through, but you know, it is what it is. You know, sometimes you don't hit on everything, I get it. But, you know, I found a pair, size 13. I've been looking for these. Everybody knows, if you're in the DNA fam, you know we talked about this before in the live stream. But yeah, <laughs> I'm glad to add these to the collection. And that is 
the Georgetown Air Jordan 1. I think this sneaker is extremely dope and you know I'm excited to give you guys a full in-depth review of these and a comparison of the other retros that it came out with the 85 cut. So stay tuned for that and yes, Ah, this is an amazing shoe. I'm looking forward to rocking these. Also, I ended up grabbing a Hearth tee as well. So they have the logo on the front right here, and then they got a picture of the store on the back. So I had to make sure I grabbed that as well. You know, it's a new shop just coming around the scene. I want to make sure we got something to rock for them. Now, what did I get for you guys? So right here, we have a Nike Dunk Low Retro Black Goldenrod White, which means what? You got the goldenrod Nike Dunk Lows. So like I said, this pair in particular is a size 12, but anybody can win whoever they want. If they pick them up and resell them or whatever they decide to do, it's up to you. But hopefully somebody wins a size 12. At the end of the day, just stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you all you need to do to enter to try to win this pair of shoes. So with these two pickups in the t-shirt, my grand total came out to be $813. And I'm telling you right now, I'm just so happy about these. And I'm looking forward to giving you guys these as well. But <laughs> I really like these a lot. <laughs> All right, last but not least, we have back to the basket. And the first thing that I got right here, I saw they was doing some vintage stuff and some old school stuff. They have this Cavaliers LeBron James jersey. And I'm low key trying to collect all the LeBron jerseys from the different eras and the different teams and the different, you know, all that different stuff. I want to have that entire set. And then I want to have the Jordan set as well when it comes to the different jerseys. So I was missing this one. I saw this one and I immediately had to cop it. Definitely a great jersey. Now, when it comes to the sneakers, we have a Nike SB Dunk Low. I'm sure you saw it in the video, the St. Patrick's Day Dunks. I still need these in my collection. But earlier in the day, Wifey was looking for them at Palette. They didn't have them in her size. Then we went to Hearth. We saw them there. They didn't have them in her size. So now we go to the last store. And next thing you know, they have a pair in her size. The only pair left. So it was just only right. We had to pick them up for her. And that's another prime example right there. If you go to one store, they may not have it. And you go to the other store, they may not have it. But if you go to the third store, they might have it. And they might have it at all, but maybe not in your size. So what I'm saying is, it's cool because every single store is unique in their own ways. We went to five different stores plus a coffee shop, and we saw that they all had different types of items, different types of styles, different types of audiences. So it's cool to see how they cater to different genres and you could either go shop at all of them or select the ones that you think may gravitate to you the most, which is completely fine as well. So I'm just excited to show you guys some shops in the city, go around and cop a bunch of kicks and show you guys the whole process. And that was brings me to another thing. Before we get into this raffle, I gotta tell you guys right now, it's coming very soon. Everybody who is a part of the DNA fam, I'll make sure I have the link for you guys down below, but everybody who is a a part of the DNA fam is going to have a chance to enter and win an opportunity to be flown out here with me and go on a thousand dollar sneaker shopping spree with me for the weekend so I'll be taking you to these stores and you can select what store you want to go to or however you want to do it I'm gonna make sure you have a great time a great weekend it's gonna be a really fun time so I'm announcing it now but trust me, we'll be rolling out more things on the channel, showing you guys how to enter, how the challenge is gonna go, how the process is gonna be. But if you wanna get in early, be a part of the DNA fam. That's gonna be how you can win. Only DNA fam members have a chance to get this opportunity. I'm excited. The DNA fam is extremely dope. And if we have more people come in or not, it doesn't matter because I'm already gonna make this happen and it's gonna be a really fun time. So with all that being said, that leads to the next thing when it comes to this giveaway that I'm gonna do next in the video. So if you're watching this video, what you're going to need to do is click on the link down below to enter into the giveaway. You'll sign up right there. You'll receive an email saying that you have been entered into the giveaway. Once you have done that, you'll be good to go and I'll announce the winner in two weeks I'll let you know all the dates and information inside the email so you'll get all the you know all the facts and everything that you need to know from there but once we do that we'll announce the winner and then I'll ship out the shoes to the winner and everything's gonna be okay good to go but if you want to have a chance like I said earlier to really take it to the next level and be a part of the DNA fam come out here go shopping with me for the weekend we go out get some food do all the different stuff I'm excited I'm really oh man bro I cannot wait to do this This is about to be really really fun so it's already in the works everything's coming very soon be a part of it or not it's gonna be dope I'm excited to show you guys so with all that being said I had a great time showing you guys this video again if you ever need to refer back to this video when you come to Portland or you want to buy from any of these shops online or check out anything I have all their links for you guys down below in the descriptions their Instagrams their websites all the info addresses you name it it'll all be in the description down below with all that being said i think we covered everything my name is dj i'm signing out i got to go i'm gone peace <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what was your favorite pickup out of all the shoes that I grabbed today.